Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily export Airtable to PDF using the gallery. So let's say I'm going to start with a template and I'm going to explore more templates here and let's say I'm going to use uh, real estate. Real estate, home showing, okay. Now let's see, I can simply click use template. And let's just wait until it loads. And here we are. So what we can find here, we can all, I'm going to remove this and we're going to find all the properties that we have here in gallery. Gallery is perfect in a way that you can find like all your tasks uh, or your records that you have in our table. So what do you want to do? You won't find it in extensions. Then you can simply ex extension and let's say I'm going to write a PDF here. You can have the low tech PDF that you can use if you want to. We can try that. But a really great way uh, how we can do it, and I'm going to show you, is if you're going to click on a gallery view all, you can have this arrow here. Click on it. And then you want to click print view under download CSV. Print view. In the moment when you're going to have it, uh, what you can do, right? So you see destination, save Microsoft print to PDF, and then you're going to find a save as PDF. And now you can simply see uh, odd pages, even pages only, or all. Then layout, if it's going to be a landscape or portrait, again, you choose that. Now, when we go to more settings here, you're going to find the paper size here. And you're going to have the legal, the letter, the tabloid. A0, A1, A5. Again, you can choose it. So it's going to suit you the best. Now I can have like page per sheet. If it's going to be 6 to 1, I'm going to have 1. Margins, you can have like minimum, none, or custom. So let's say what I can do here is like, let's say 50. So let's say this can be, I don't know, 40. This can be 10. See, even more, I think. 15. Yep, margins are great. So these are the custom margins that you can add. And it's going to, for every single website, every single page, it's going to be the same. You can easily scale it, scale it if it's going to be. Look what will happen. So you can have it smaller or larger. Again, completely up to you. So I can have like 100%. Then you can have option header and footers. Have a background graphic. Now when you got it, click save. Then you need to save it somewhere. I'm going to add it to the desktop version. Click save. And that's how we do it, right? So again, you click here, arrow, download, no download, but print view, save as a PDF, or you can see more. And you see right here that we have it. Okay, now when I go to back and I can see the real estate here, see I can easily open it and I see it right here. So this is pretty much it how it works and this is how we can export to PDF. Now if you can have any questions guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll really help you to help you and provide you some guidance. You know how it goes, you know how it is. Again, gallery view by stage, by interest level, shortlist. So that's how we do it. Now, how to use a gallery that's pretty straightforward. So gallery always represents. Gallery always represents a tasks that we have.
and that's pretty much it so when you click your gallery you would find all the tasks here all the contacts all the results that you have all the clients so if you can have a picture of a client you would find all the clients here so if i can find let me go back and i'm going to delete this project delete base i can add a base here so not like this delete i can start with the template and i can have crm here and I can have a sales CRM use template and then just wait until it loads and here you're gonna find it all so first thing first you're gonna have an opportunities then you're gonna have the sales pipeline as a qualification proposal negotiation so these are the opportunities and when I click here on the contacts I can have the contacts here if they are VIP email phone title department LinkedIn so everything now what I can do I can simply choose all and go and delete all records right so this is pretty much it how you can use it and how it works now if you can have any questions guys regarding this let me down below in the comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support so this is how you can export our table to pdf have a great day and goodbye see ya